I guess now we can just uh drugs. We could just finish with sports and shit. Um, shout out to that boy Steph Curry. I think he's the first person in NBA history to get a lifetime deal, yeah, boy. We gotta get a clap it up. We gotta. We gotta. We definitely got to get some clap it, some claps what? up for the boy Fred. Fred, please, Fred. Uh, you ain't been here in a while. You've been here, but you ain't been working, nigga. But I think so. Shout out to the boy. For life. Nice. Um, shout out to Steph Curry. You know what I'm saying? Amazing. Shout out man. to Steph. Icon. That nigga shoots from the parking lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? And not the parking lot that the baby was talking about. A different parking nah, lot. Nah, different parking lot. Boy, the parking lot where niggas actually park their cars and come into the arena after. He shoot from there. Word. Shooting nah, for me. Really that nigga godly jump shot, man. Come on. Man. I remember I used to hate on this nigga early on. You know when you're younger, I used to hate on Kobe R.I.P. when I was younger. But then you under you you get a little bit more clarification of what's really happening out here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. but listen if for those who that's listening that don't know, man, Steph Curry has locked a lifetime contract with uh with Under Armour worth more than one billion dollars. Let me make sure y'all niggas hear what I'm saying. One B one B. You heard you y'all niggas heard that song Khaled put out with Jay Z Wayne and Rick Ross. Shout out to them brothers where Hove is talking about the bees and the billions. Yeah that much nigga one billion. Golden State Warriors superstar Steph Curry and Undum Armor have reportedly nearly locked down details for a lifetime. Life time. That means as long as this nigga exists, this deal will be in effect. You know. Lifetime endorsement contract that would be worth over one billion. Go ahead, drugs. Let them know. Talk to him. You know, it's amazing. And congratulations to Steph. That's my nigga, man. That's my nigga. But uh, you know, as amazing as that sounds. I don't know, man. Not it's enough about it. That's that's that sounds like it's not quite enough. Not enough. Not enough. It's not. It's not quite enough, man. Because in maybe four like or five years down the line, four or five years, maybe if we go on further, maybe eight years. What? Look at it like this, bro. Stuff gonna be ten years. Way, that's way more than that. One billion for to get to one billion, that would be ten years of a hundred million dollars, right? He's already making more in his contract. His contract in the NBA alone is worth more than a hundred million. So that means he's not going to be in the NBA for another ten years, possibly. He could be, but I don't. It's not likely. But just what he's done already, and where he's at at this point. That would be like him receiving a portion of his NBA contract every year for, what, however many years he, he, he's, he, he's alive, I would guess. But it, it, it so this, I, I don't want to shit on it too much because it says it could be worth over $1 billion. So it could be a little bit more. And of course, like I said, man, we we ain't never seen no money like this. But for somebody that's at his level and what he does and what he brought to the game of the NBA and how much money he's brought them, especially to a franchise that wasn't successful at the time, he's brought a lot of and 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 especially for a company like Under Armour that was shit in terms of footwear before this nigga. That's always the fight that we're going to have as like minorities that partner up with these corporations and get this astro astronomical amount of money. We always going to be like, yo, he deserves more just because he does. But and that's why I feel like, you know, not, you know, not to uh, rain on step like, you know, that, you know, this has nothing to do with Steph at this. Uh, but LeBron. It, that's what makes him so great, like to me, because the the man found a way to negotiate to the point where he knows he literally knows his value momentarily, and he and future wise, so he 
constructs his contracts based on, you know, I, I think, you know, uh, he's more a uh, numbers guy and he pays attention to all that shit. But, bro, like, it's, it's, an, it's insane. Like, he got a building at Nike. Like, bro, LeBron is the reason why any of these NBA niggas is getting the amount of money that they're getting right now. At the time, niggas hated him for going to Miami. But hindsight 2020, niggas didn't realize he was taking his career into his own hands as an athlete. That shit was never before. It has never been done before, before that nigga. Bro, that, that nigga so, is a legend, man. So all of this comparison with, yeah, you know what I mean? The Michael, jo- like, kill that, bro. Like, kill that shit right now. Michael Jordan had mad opportunities to be that nigga, and he chose against it. LeBron is that nigga now. Yeah, yeah, we understand the chant, all that other, but nah, fuck that. Y'all niggas gotta understand LeBron is that nigga. Kill all your, your aspir- the Jordans, or all that shit niggas try to hold on to, that shit dead. Jordans ain't even the same quality anymore, bro. Fuck that. LeBron is that nigga. We... Cracking the 80s is solidifying that shit right now, man. LeBron Jeffrey James is that nigga. And that's all it is. Shout out to Steph, man. One Billy. You definitely deserve more, my boy. But we can't be, a, we can't fucking argue against you getting a Billy or over that shit for a lifetime endorsement, man, with Under Armour. You ain't even have to go to Nike. The nigga went to Under Armour and made his own shit pop. Like. Made a you nigga made a old, a whole other brand pop, pop pop out here. So shout out to Steph Curry, man. Still on your block, you niggas know what it is, homie. The fifth on me, I smear bullets at your rail, homie. Put a stack up, a call for backup. It's still HBU, heartbreak, or get cracked up. Money I chase, fuck clearing it out the bank. My niggas run up and chase, duck take the stab, get the cash, do we escape? Agree with me? If you don't, then go some balls, nigga. Focus on what you got, never dwell on your loss, nigga. Life is hard for a young black man selling drugs. Fuck a hoe just because. Fish.